Hi guys, so Kitty Sweaty here. Today we're gonna draw Ryder, the team leader from Paw Patrol. If you love Paw Patrol, make sure to check out my Paw Patrol playlist of all the puppies I've drawn so far. So get your Sharpie or your pencil ready and your piece of paper and let's get started on drawing this cute 10 year old boy who calls on his pups to save the citizens of Adventure Bay. To draw a cute Ryder, let's first start by drawing a bottom of a U for his face. So let's come right here. I'm just gonna draw a curve down and come right across about right here and do the same thing and connect at the bottom so nice and around towards the center about right here and back up there nice and round right <laughs> okay so then now that we have that let's come back to where we started on the edge and i'm going to draw a big circle for his eyes And come right across and do the same thing. There. And then I'm going to come inside towards this edge a little bit more. I'm going to draw another circle inside. And you can even touch it if you need to. So same thing over here. And then from there, let's come over, uh, let's say about right here, and I'm going to draw a circle for a highlight. If you have a highlight, uh, a whiteout pen, you don't need to do this, but then come back in here, and we're going to draw another circle and shade this one in. So if you have one of those whiteout pens, you can just go ahead and draw a circle inside, shade it in. And then everything else right here is going to be the color for his eyes. So same thing over here circle for a highlight and then another circle and shade this part in there i know it looks weird right now but once you color it in it'll look better okay so then from there let's give him a big smile so say about right here big curve up slightly and cap it off and then I'm going to come up and say about right here. Just going to give him a brow, so just a soft curve on top. And thicken it up. And same thing over here. And thicken it up. Then from there, let's come to the side and we're going to draw his ears for his eyes. About right here. And I'll give it some details. Two curves. So same thing on the other side, where his eyes are, and two curves. Then let's work on his hair. So um, let's come about right here where we started. I'm going to go up, and so about this high, go up, and we're going to curve. And I'm going to come right across, kind of flat, and about right here, I'll just zigzag a little bit, give it a little point if you like. And then as I come down, but right here, just like the other, so I'm gonna come down and back. I'm just creating this curve right above. Then from there, we're gonna draw his amazing hair. So let's come right here where his ears are and we're gonna go up. So we're just kind of like drawing a flame almost. Curve and let's see. Another curve, and we're going to center. The center one is going to be the highest. Come down towards this point right here. And then we're going to go back up. And one more. And come back down. So your goal is to make this part the highest. So it's kind of like at this shape right there. Then from there, you can come in back in here if you like for some details, or you can do that when you're coloring. So it's not so harsh, but we're going to put a curve right here towards this point that you made. And a curve there. So that is pretty much it for Ryder's head. Now let's work on his body. So let's come back to the center, but right here, and I'm going to give, I'm going to draw a little V right here. 
Then from there, I'm gonna imagine his shoulder, so say about right here and here. Now find his armpit area, so say about right here. And it's gonna be a little bit lower because he is wearing a vest. Now we're just gonna draw an angle line down. There, so now we know what we're working with. And the reason I didn't go further on this curve right here is because right here I'm gonna go ahead and connect up a curve and I'm gonna pop out this detail right here on his vest comes in. So same thing over here, connect it, curve, and then pop out this detail right here. Then let's come back in this area. Let's give him a collar. And there's a zipper detail right here. So I'll just draw a rectangle. And let's bring his vest down a bit more. So say about right here, bring it in bring it in and then connect with a curve. Then one more layer for his vest, come down and connect once again. There. And then let's come down again. <laughs> let's say about right here. Just give myself a slight angle line and this is where his legs are going to start. So let's put in two angles. Come back right here. And we're going to start to draw his legs. So let's bring this down. Oh, let's see, let's see how long we want to bring this. We're just getting a little bit thinner, but not too much as we come down. And about right there, I'm just going to start to wobble a little bit towards the bottom. And connect. So same thing over here wobble and connect and let's see here you can come in here some details just add a little line right there and then let's draw his shoes so we're going to pop them out curve out Curve and connect. Same thing here. Curve and connect. Then for some details, for his soul. And then right here, we're going to put in the one curve. And then in this area right here, I'm going to draw this kind of U shape at an angle and put in two curves inside. So same thing here. There. So hopefully I helped you with that. And then now let's see. Oh, now we can come back about right here and we're going to pop out this pocket and put a little line right there. So same thing on the other side. in a pocket. And since we're here, I'm just gonna add a line right there. No, oh, I'm not sure if he has pockets there or not, so I'll leave it blank. <laughs> okay, so then now for, um, let's draw his arms. Let's come about right here where his armpits are, and I'm just gonna have them to his side. So nice and simple to about right here. Imagine it's coming through his shoulders. And we're just going to connect for a sleeve and right there. And then his hands. So nice and simple, just a thumb and some fingers, a curve. So same thing on the other side. So let's come back right here. And we're just going to curve to the side to about right here. And thicken this part up. and connect and fingers so thumb curve and connect make this part a little bit thinner there 
So then now for some details on his vest, I'm going to come, let's say, um, about right here. I'm going to draw a curve across and bring the zipper down a little bit more so it's not caught right in there. And one more curve right across. And then a straight line down the center and pocket. So basically a rectangle at an angle. And same thing here. And of course he needs his badge. So right here, uh, come out in this area, I'm gonna draw his badge. So straight line, two curves on the side. Bring in, curve to the center and up. Then for the Paw Patrol logo, let's uh, wobble this oval and three ovals. Hopefully you can see that right there. So they're all done. I really hope that I've inspired you to draw Ryder here from Paw Patrol and that I made it fun and easy for you to follow along. Please make sure to check out my playlist of all the puppies I've drawn so far and definitely comment below if there's other puppies you want me to draw from the show. Before I go cuties, I just wanted to remind you to uh, check out my cutie plush right here inspired by you on makeship.com. She's still available so make sure to hurry up and check her out uh, before the campaign is over and we, I hope that we can make her a reality. Thanks so much for watching cuties and I will see you soon so please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.